Welcome to Faulaba Drive Time. In this video, I will show you how to select drive system components for the maximum efficiency. Applications are nowadays more and more efficient. Battery operated devices like insulin pumps, for example, need high efficiency drive system to possibly maintain the longest battery charge. The efficiency is defined as the ratio between the output power and the input power. In small electric motors, this is the ratio between the mechanical power generated at the output shaft and the electrical power delivered to the motor. Uh, power losses due to friction and uh, winding heating, for example, reduce the efficiency. The main characteristics of the coreless winding is the low inertia and low inductance compared to the iron core DC motors. This means high acceleration, high dynamics, high torque to volume ratio and no cogging torque for a smooth and stable rotation. For this reason, the efficiency reaches the highest value with coreless motors. DC motors have a fixed magnet in the stator while the winding rotates in the air gap between the magnet and the housing. The losses are typically only related to the friction of bearings and the commutation system. In brushless motors, the winding is fixed in the stator while the magnet rotates. Beside bearings at high rotational speed, there is an additional friction generated by the so-called eddy current, affecting the power losses with the square of the speed. Faulaber minimized those losses with a special state of design, keeping the efficiency almost in the same range of DC motors. The efficiency in coreless motor depends on the load applied. Running the motor at no load condition is not ideal, because there is no mechanical power generated. The efficiency is zero. But if we increase a little bit the applied torque, the efficiency rises fast. In many motors, the maximum efficiency range corresponds to a torque level about 10% of the stored torque. After the maximum, the efficiency decreases down to zero the stored torque. Let's talk about the gear heads. Meshing gear friction causes losses, transformed in heat. The lubricant helps to decrease the friction, uh, limiting the losses between 5 and 10% for each stage. Temperature also affects this value too. Um, since the efficiency decreases with the number of stages, to get higher efficiency you must use a gearhead with low number of stages. Um, a special gearhead design is the zero backlash gearhead where two parallel spool gear train have all the gears preloaded with the output shaft blocked. This is to get a zero play at the output shaft. The preload of every gear train increases the friction, decreasing dramatically the efficiency in this type of gearheads. In gearheads, the efficiency curve is not constant. The minimum is a low torque range and low speed and then increases to the maximum at the nominal torque. For this reason, it is not recommended to use a drive system made of a combination of motor and gear at low speed and low torque, because the overall efficiency is low. To have a good efficiency, it is then necessary to load the gearhead above 40% of its nominal torque. Linear actuators are made with a combination of motors and screw. Bolt screw has a minimum friction in comparison with lead screws. As a consequence, the efficiency of bolt screw may exceed 90%, while most of the lead screws stay in the range between 40 and 70%. Sometimes, having low efficiency is an advantage. Certain applications need to keep the load in position even without power. Using a low efficiency lead screw, it's possible to have an auto lock operation where the load does not move thanks to the friction between the screw and the nut. This is not possible in ball screw because of the lower friction. With linear actuator, the efficiency curve is minimum at no load condition and maximum at nominal axle force. The efficiency behavior is similar to what you have seen with the gearheads. Also in this case, it's not recommended to work with minimum load. Sometimes it's necessary to stop the load in the same position for a certain time. With a motion controller, this is possible, but it's necessary to deliver a certain current to the motor to hold the loading position, and this causes power consumption. In this case, an electromagnetic brake could help to block the motor shaft without power consumption. As a drawback during the motor operation, the brake release causes an additional power consumption of minimum 6 watts. 
The efficiency of a drive system is the multiplication of the efficiency of each component. As you have seen, the point of maximum efficiency of a motor does not correspond to the maximum efficiency region of a gearhead or to a screw. To reach the optimal efficiency is then necessary to find a compromise for the working point. To summarize, the most efficiency drive system is simply a motor in a direct drive operation, running at its maximum efficiency point. Anyway, this is not always possible. Combined with a gearhead, the best drive system efficiency is reached when the output torque is above 40% of the gearhead's nominal torque. Since the efficiency decreases with the number of stages, if you want high efficiency, then choose a low reduction ratio gearhead. Both screws have higher efficiency than lead screw. Anyway, the auto lock possibility with lead screw may be an advantage in some applications like zoom, focus, motorized syringe, for example. Electromagnetic brakes can block the load without power consumption. Anyway, during the motor operation, the brake deactivation needs additional power. The drive system efficiency is the product of all the components' efficiencies. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos on the Foul Label Drive Time. Feel free to leave a comment below. Take care. Goodbye.